Hi everyone and welcome back to Nick's Home Renovation. Uh, for those of you that haven't been here before, my name's Nick and I've been filming over the past year a couple of renovations I've done. Uh, one for myself that I did up from sort of a Victorian three bedroom house from a granny house into a modern home. And the second video was actually someone who contacted me through YouTube and asked me to renovate their home for them. They um, couldn't sell their home for around a year asked me to do it up for them. Um, we did it in 30 days uh, for £15,000 and they actually sold it um, on the first day of viewings. They had 12 um, viewings, three offers and one of them was a little bit over asking price which they accepted. So that was really chuffed with that one. Um, people have asked me where I sort of started this. I'm an electrician by trade um, but I actually started where I am now which is my flat in Brixton. Uh, where I renovated my bathroom, which I'll show you in another video, and the kitchen, which I'm standing in now. Um, this kitchen cost £8,000, and I thought I'd just run through it and um, show you everything I bought, how much I bought it for, where I bought it, which tradesmen I used, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin it around and do a little tour, and then after that I'll go through little by little, and we'll go from there. The first place to start is on the kitchen itself. This is from a company called DIY Kitchens. Um, for those of you that haven't seen these videos, I've used these twice, or this was the first time, but I've now used them three times. Um, they're brilliant, it's diy-kitchens.co.uk. They're way cheaper than any other firm I've ever seen. Um, I went to the high street and the minimum quote for just the units and appliances was 12,000 pounds from you know, Howdens and Magnets and all those other companies. Whereas I went here and I've renovated this whole kitchen, including everything, even non-kitchen unit related for £8,000. Um, so I'll show you what it's like detailing wise. So this is called the Tokwith in Cornflower Blue. Tokwith basically is this detailing in here. You can get standard shaker doors, which is more like this design. Um, but the Tokwith is this detail here, which we really liked. Um, and as it was our home, we thought we'd spend a little bit more because it is a little bit more with this detailing. But I thought it was well worth it. Cornflower blue is this colour, as you can probably imagine. It's like a greeny blue, but um, we really like it. So these units came to £3,800. Um, and that's for all of these units you can see. We've got the tall unit in the corner here, fridge freezer. Um, dishwasher door over here washing machine over here and the only other different unit is this one here in the corner which is for the boiler. The next big item and the most expensive item is the worktop. We got this from Selco. Um, it's called an acrylic worktop with a built-in sink and the built-in sink is my favourite bit of it but um, I'll show you quickly and then I'll go through what we paid for it and how we got it. So some people are put off by the white, but I must say I don't regret it at all because it cleans absolutely beautifully because it's acrylic, not just a typical laminate that you can get for similar money. For me, um, it's a really, really nice worktop. It's almost the same quality in my opinion, as granite. Um, we got it from Selco, as I said, called the Ac Acrylic Sink. And we got it from the Old Kent branch for £1,150. Interestingly, um, I also got a quote from another branch where I used to live in Kent, and that was £1,450. So it just shows that even companies that are the same, they all have their own profit per branch and different kitchen guys. So give a few people a call, you might be able to get a discount. 
Um, the next big thing is the kitchen fitter. So the kitchen fitter fitted the units, kit the worktop, and he put all the appliances in, um, and that was 800 pounds. My experience of this was uh, I went on mybuilder.com, um, advertised, put in your postcode, and you get five people reply to you. You can look at their profile, look at their photos, videos, um, feedback from other people, and I thought it was a really helpful place to find someone. Um, my tip is not to just accept the cheapest one, do your research, make sure you look into everyone, make sure you can see them in the photo sometimes as well and they haven't just pinched the photos from someone else. But the kitchen fitter was £800, so so far units 3800 ish uh, the worktop was just under 1200 or 1150 and the um, person who installed it, kitchen fitter was £800. So they're the biggest expenses you'll get other than the appliances. Appliances kind of depends what you want to go for, but this is our home, so we spent a little bit more money because we wanted everything with good reviews and would last like long. But we got a fridge freezer in the corner from Hot Point. In here is a washing machine from Hoover. Dishwasher in there for Beko, and a hob from Beko, and oven from Hoover. I'll end up here, another extractor from Beko again. Obviously these are up to you, but um, the total cost of these came to about 1,500 pounds. The most expensive thing being the washer dryer in the corner, um, just because it was a washer dryer. And we made sure we really thoroughly, thoroughly check everyone's reviews as we think it's really important. You don't want things breaking down after just a couple of years. Um, the next big expense, which I might show you with some LED lighting I did is, if I turn off these main lights, is the tiles at the back here. Now these are some LED lights I installed. For those of you that haven't seen these videos before, I'm an electrician by trade, so fortunately I could do that for cost price. But I just wanted some LEDs under here to show off these tiles, which I'm gonna talk about now. So these are called Metro White Tiles, and they are from Tops Tiles. They're really, really cheap. All the tiles were under sixty pounds. Sort of the cheapest ones they do. There are my LED lights up there. Um, they look really smart, really slick, and they're really easy to clean. Um, again, I had a tiler for the bathroom, which I'll do in another video. Um, but I'm guessing a tiler would be more than hundred pounds if you were paying him, because he was only in this room for about half a day. Um, but we didn't fortunately have that because we had the bathroom costs incurred in that. But the tiles were around 75 pounds, they aren't say roughly 100, 150 pounds max if you were to have a tiler for this stage. And then the other big expenses for tradesmen is the plumbing. We were quite lucky in the fact that we didn't need any sort of major new pipe work or anything. So we just had the plumber come in and do obviously the washing plumbing for the washing machine here, dishwasher here, sink, um, gas hob, and then um, a bit of work in the boiler cupboard there. Um, all pretty standard stuff, so it wasn't an expensive job, fortunately, it was around 250 pounds. Um, it's something you can probably do yourself apart from the gas, if you're experiencing that sort of thing, but I just thought, leave it alone. And then I'm an electrician, but we put in spotlights on the ceiling, on this here, and then as I said, under, here, got the LEDs. And then I also put in these chrome sockets in the brushed look, because we've gone the brush look everywhere else. Right, the next bit to talk about is the handles. Again, we've stuck with like we did for the sockets and we've got that brushed chrome look. These are from a company called Handles For You. And we went with the knobs on this one, which were £1.41. And then on sort of the, the pool feature down here, these are three pound 40. And you just have a little handle under there to grip. Some important things to remember when ordering the kitchen, if you're gonna use DIY kitchens and do it all yourself, really easy to remember, but I forgot on this one. Um, and it's just to make sure you order filler panels and end panels. For those of you that don't know, end panels is like this bit here, for example. So the carcass colour, as you can see over here on the side of the fridge, is white. So usually you'd put an end panel on here 
to match this colour. But actually in this breakfast area we wanted to create a nice little white space to sort of segregate this breakfast bar. But usually you can put end panels here and they have to order those separately otherwise you'll just see the whites of the carcass. And you'll realise when I show you now how many end panels you need. So inside here, inside here, on the outside over here, edge of the boiler, and even filling it in the end, and then we've got to fill a panel in the corner by the washing machine as well. It's bits like that that you can easily forget, um, as well as ordering plimps down the bottom here, obviously, underneath. Just don't forget those little bits. As I'm down in that area now, I'll show you these bar stools. Um, they are called the Asta Bar Stools from John Lewis. And I'll come down lower. And whilst I'm down here, I'll just show you because these actual units here um, are 300. Depth, um, basically normal units, are around 500. When we wanted 300 because we wanted to create this little breakfast bar area down here. So normally a 500 would come out where the stools are about here, but the 300 has given us the leg room so we can have our cereal or whatever in the morning. I thought that was quite a nice little feature to really make that breakfast bar nice. So the stools are from John Lewis, as I said, for 99 pounds each. And as I scan across, one of my favorite things in this kitchen is this radiator from soak.com. So it's called the Amphrocyte um, traditional radiator and not only does it give off lovely heat it's just got some really nice detailing and I really like the charcoal-y colour and we actually sort of put a lot of detail in this kitchen like our photo frames and things are trying to make it the same colour as that it's like this frame up in here to really bring it all together lastly just some small things this tap again we've gone for that brushed look and this is from home base it's called the lavish jewel handle brush to chrome tap really finishes off this nice built-in sink that i was talking about how much i like earlier and then just a kettle and toaster in the corner that we've got from morphe and richards you've probably seen these are there everywhere Yeah, that's it. I hope uh, you like it. So basically this whole kitchen came to around £8,000. I'll put everything I bought below. Um, oh, actually, I've forgotten one thing. It's this laminate flooring. It's this laminate flooring. I'll turn on the main light. It's from Wix. And it's called Bergen Oak. And it's about £15 a square metre. And as you can imagine, in Brixton, we don't need a lot of it, so it wasn't that expensive. But really just finishes off nicely the kitchen. So yeah, sorry, there was about £8,000 in this kitchen. I'll list everything below, how much the tradesman cost, how much the appliances cost, how much the units cost. Um, hopefully you found this video of use. If you need any advice or um, maybe if I've forgotten something, just contact me, you can contact me by email or comment on this video. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, good luck with whatever uh, renovation you're trying. Cheers guys, bye.